Embarrassing, it's careless, schoolboy, amateur. Those are the words I can think of to describe that defending. Where do we even start? Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be discussing and breaking down the Seasiders 3-2 loss at home to Lincoln City. Before this rant starts, I'd like to say a congratulations to Lincoln for the three points today. They fought well, showed character, passion, everything you want to see on a football pitch, really. And the game doesn't end until the 90th minute. Everyone knows that. It's not over till it's over. And Lincoln showed that today, that character and desire that is needed in this league. And fair play to Michael Appleson and his men for getting the three points. Being honest, on the basis of the game, the Seaside has played really, really well. In fact, we actually registered 17 shots throughout the entire game. And at halftime on my stream, I did actually say, you know, this is the best half of football I've seen the Seasiders play in a long, long time. This is incredible football. We started off so well, attackingly, the whole game. We were incredible. Jerry Yates striking the post with an incredible half volley in the first 10 minutes of the match before the Seasiders did open the scoring through CJ Hamilton after a defensive error from Lincoln. Hamilton capitalised and curled one into the bottom corner. And the Seasiders continued to press with Jerry Yates missing a square chance in the first half from the edge of the six-yard box, scuffing it over the bar. And the chances continued to come for the Seasiders and we genuinely could have been out of sight. But then the equaliser came for Lincoln in the 25th minute when Dimitri Mitchell brought down a Lincoln man on the edge of the box. Now, fair enough, it was a foul. And it's an excusable mistake for Dimitri Mitchell. You know, it's wet, rainy conditions. It's the type of error you expect to see in this kind of match and those kind of conditions. So you can let him off for that one. But again, it's giving away a penalty when we're in a privileged position. And of course, Lincoln's first shot of the game, they go and score. Penalty right to the bottom corner. Maxwell dives the right way, but can't quite get there. Again, the Seasiders continue to dominate the game. And going into half time, I think we had nine shots and Lincoln had three. And we've just been absolutely battering them with shots. We've been playing amazing football. And I was sure that in that second half, it was going to turn out a positive result. We continued to dominate in the second half and created so many chances, but just couldn't quite get the end product on there with Yates flicking another one past the post. And then Neil Critchley decides to bring off Jerry Yates for Oliver Sarkic, which I thought was a very poor managerial decision today. Obviously, you need to make change, but Yates was one of the best players on the pitch throughout today. And to bring him off, I thought was quite bizarre. And when Sarkic came on, sorry, but he was just so bad. Like, he was just holding the ball for too long. He was not finding the right pass. And when he was in on goal, he had a chance presented to him for about 20 yards out. Just strike the ball. And the poor lad's gone and rolled it off to someone else. Like, it just, it was poor. And attacking, we were absolutely dominating. Mitchell with another chance again. And then the goal finally came in the 82nd minute where the balls flicked across the box. Dimitri Mitchell with a great finish into the bottom corner to flick it home. And that was 2-1 to the Seasiders. A thoroughly, thoroughly deserved result going into the last five minutes of the game. James Husband, who I thought was the best player on the pitch today up until the 85th minute, he played some fantastic over-the-top passes. That, you know, he was solid at the back, some great challenges. He was unreal, some fantastic, fantastic challenges. Up until he takes a heavy touch in the 85th minute. And there's a Lincoln man running in on goal. Just let him shoot. Just take the chance of letting him shoot. But no... Husband brings him down, he gets himself sent off, and Lincoln have another penalty. They go and convert the penalty, of course, and then you're in the 85th minute, you're looking at a side who just had 17 shots versus a team who scored two pens, and it's two all. Like, this, this shouldn't be happening. And it got even worse from there. Lincoln had the final chance of the game, a corner in the dying stages of the game. It's gone to the back post, and it's gone to the Lincoln centre-back. Ek Pateta is just watching him shoot. He's watching him. He's allowed to get the ball down, take a touch and shoot. And Ed Pateta is just allowing him to do that. Reinforcements are needed. There's like two days left of the transfer window. But God, bring someone in because that Ed Pateta bloke, he's terrible. I'm sorry, but he is God awful. And it was just embarrassing. It was absolutely embarrassing. It was undernized defending again, watching him take a touch and just scramble it into the net. We've got four men on the line and he's allowed to do that. It was the worst goal I've ever seen us concede as a Blackpool fan in a long time. We defend like a National League North side and attack like a championship team. We can't do that. The most frustrating thing is so many things went right today. We were, this was the best footballing performance I've seen from the Seasiders in these opening four games. The way we attacked, the fluent attacking football, Lincoln's defense couldn't handle us. We struck the woodwork at least twice. 
you know, we we should have been out of sight in the first half. And to just to finish the game like that, I mean, it feels like the Plymouth game, and it's becoming a bit of a recurring theme. The Plymouth game, we had 18 shots, lost 1-0. The Swindon game, we won 2-0, fair enough. Gillingham game, we couldn't convert, lost 2-0. 16 shots and hit the woodwork, and we've gone and lost. Our attack today left 110% on the pitch. Jerry Yates... Anderson, Labala, they all left 110%. And that's all you can ask for as a football fan. Even if you lose the players to play for the badge, for the shirt. So many mixed emotions right now. So proud of the attacking front line and the lads. They, you could see they left 110%, but let down by an idle defensive back line that needs changing. I can't believe, no, no, I still can't believe that last goal. Like, it's just... The way he had time to get a touch, and it was like we were anticipating the shot. There's a man, it drops to him on the edge of the box. You get that ball away. I if this is a bit of an unconstructed match review, but I really just don't know what to say. These are just my initial thoughts. I'm gutted, and it's not looking good for the seaside. There's three defeats out of four games. Hopefully, we can realise that these issues are holding us back and rectify them, but that's where I'm going to round up this video. I'm off for a cup of tea and to watch Escape to the Country after that. It's just, that's where I want to be right now in the country after that performance, but God knows what to say. Blackpool fans, what do you think went wrong? Let me know in the comments. And Lincoln fans, what do you think went wrong for the Seasiders? Like I say, fair play to Lincoln. They did so well to win the game. You know, they showed character, desire, determination, and they fought till the final whistle, and that's what you love to see in football. They, they wore the badge on the shirt, and like... Despite getting dominated for most of the game, the heads didn't drop. They just kept going and going, and they got their reward in the end. So fair play to Lincoln and Michael Appleton. Like I say, if you haven't somehow enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully, in two weeks' time, I'll be a bit more positive about our next game. But like I say, thanks for watching. Some big things coming to the channel. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Annie.